hello guys welcome to bin's vlog welcome to my channel and for today's vlogs we're going to talk about the avr this is the stamport avr this is most common to the stamport uh, alternator this is es440 let's talk about here is uh, the wiring connections where you can connect your sensing your potentiometer your um, voltage uh, biasing your drop city and where you can adjust the stability and the rest of our uh, um, connections or the adjustment for this for this kind of ABR so today we're all talk about it so let's start so okay guys now i will show you one uh, of the pictures that uh, for our avr this is es440 so here is our es440 picture so today i will going to explain to you where is the important uh, things you are going to connect adjust and everything so here i'm going to explain to you so first thing we're going to explain here which is very important so first is our sensing so voltage sensing is uh, connected to our 7 and 8 so this type of VVR it is uh, 220 voltage sensing or this is how the ranges for that one like 200 to uh, 300 volts like that so <clears throat> if you want the sensing is lower uh, voltage sensing or higher voltage sensing you can apply for that by doing here so if you connect this one you can adjust to lower voltage mode and then if you remove you have the higher voltage mode okay so this our numbers of our voltage sensing so here is our it and z2 this one is you can use only if you have uh, auxiliary winding so like i said to you uh, in my blogs this one is like the uh, uh, arip connections like same like arip connections uh, they have their own auxiliary winding okay so if you have auxiliary winding you are going to remove this link here and connect that from here so this is area here is your voltage adjustment if you want to lower your voltage output or to higher your voltage output it is depends on what is the connections of your EVR, uh, the connections of your alternator if it is series y or series delta or double y or what kind of uh, connections if it is 12 blades or 6 leads so it is always vary so uh, you have to check the wiring check how many leads and it is con and its own connection so you can identify where you can connect your sensing make sure that you can take 200 to 240 volt ec in order to work in this avr okay so as i told you this one here is the link for your uh, potentiometer here one and two where you can connect your external trimmer so if you see external trimmer so you need a potentiometer which is uh, 1k or 500 uh, ohms in order to work in this kind of uh, uh, trimmer okay so as i said this one is for your lower or higher sensing for your low voltage mode or the higher voltage mode 
okay so around here if you are uh, uh, using this one as a synchronizing if you are so this is your drop adjustment so is one is two is your uh, drop city connections for the sync uh, purposes and this e1 and e2 is your uh, digital or the variable adjustment this is connected or what we call this one for my term is for your voltage biasing so here you can connect your 0 to 5 or 0 to 10 volts directly from your uh, module whatever the module you are using if that one is applicable for you if that one uh, that kind of module is this uh, applicable in this kind of uh, connections or a functionality then you can connect it here for your automatic voltage adjustment so this is only using for your like the paralleling or synchronizing that is same words that I'm using and down here is your trim so this part here for your 0 to 5 or 0 to 10 volts this is your trim point so for example this uh, 360 rotations like say 100% of your uh, uh, trim so if you put in half so you have 50% uh, trim for your uh, digital or for your biasing okay around here is your excitation trip point so for example as i told you 360 that is a hundred percent three point if you want half if you want little that's a fifty percent that is by percentage this trip point for example you don't have uh, or you you don't want to allow the high excitation so you have going to measure this one like for example you, you want only fifty percent of your uh, excitation level or twenty five percent of your excitation level to avoid the high uh, excitation so it will automatically trip or internally trip this one this AVR it will stop uh, giving uh, the excitations from your exciter so if you adjust this one so you know what is the functions of this kind of a uh, trimmer okay so down here is your stability so if you have some voltage fluctuations if there is some um, abnormalities of your voltage here you can adjust and the stability so as my previous videos you can also refer on that video for uh, how to fix the, the fluctuations or um, abnormalities of the voltage that is uh, around here for the stability just find in the AVR the stability point where you can adjust your stability or to make it stable from the word stability stable okay there you can adjust to make it perfect flow of your voltage so down here is your selections where ebcd here is you can see this is the response uh, connections so depends on the kva of your alternator it depends on how big your alternator is so you can apply it also here through kilowatt so for example we connect as bd so this one is applicable for 100 kilowatt applications so if you connect it to enc so enc so this one is almost same 100 kilowatt but the response of this AVR is become fast response so in the BD is low response in the EC is fast response if you use this uh, AVR to 100 to 500 kilowatt so you can connect this one the BC BC so this one is applicable for 100 to 500 kilowatt uh, usage this is for I think 100% load so this one is fast response so if there is some like impact load if there is some shock load so they can automatically respond in this amount of load okay so we have here also the maximum AB is for your 500 kilowatt same as uh, fast response but this one is for 500 kilowatt 
so if you are like long range of your usage you can use it as 100 to 500 kilowatts so use as B and C connection so you don't have any uh, doubt I need to change I need to reconnect again so just put it directly B and C for your wide range of the kilowatt usage okay it is clear now this one is the you if are also under frequency this one is for your rig operations so <clears throat> this is for the under frequency regulations so in here you can adjust uh, for for example under frequency means it is below from your nominal configurations uh, for example it is like under 48 frequency so if you adjust this one to like this 360 rotations for 100 percent so if you put it at 50 or 25 percent so and that point it will automatically also shut down internally this AVR for this kind of set point so around here is for your 5060 connections so if you connected this one here C what is 50 so this one is for the 60 applications and 60 and C is for your 60 Hertz applications so here is your indications the lid it is blinking if there is some failure it is blinking if there is uh, it is normal uh, f functions okay so all I already uh, tell you where you can adjust so this is ES440 so now we're going to go to our wiring connections okay so here as i told you this is the normal uh, connections and here is our uh, auxiliary we have the extra auxiliary connections so from here so as you can see this one is uh, series y connection so this is the maximum like around 480 volt uh, output so that's why they are connected this one in the mid middle connections or in the mid connections so you can get to 20 around 200 to 20 to 40 volts at this kind of applications at it at this kind of connections so you are in the middle middle connections so from seven it is connected from seven mid connections so and the eight is connection connected also and the middle connections so they are put it here eight mid connections and seven mid connections f2 and f1 is your exciter exciter failed connections so do not attempt to reverse this one because if you reverse this one meaning it cannot give you the correct amount of voltage because instead of they will give uh, the correct amount of voltage to excite if you make reverse this one because this one is DC so it will reduce the voltage instead so it, you can get low voltage amount or it will uh, give you the amount which is not suitable for your AVR to uh, give the correct amount of voltage okay so make it correct connections whatever the tagging it is f1 f2 this one f1 is always at positive and f2 is your negative connections okay as i told you before this 2 and 1 is your uh, photentiometer or external uh, trimmer okay so you can apply this one one key uh, ohms or 500 ohms depends on the EVR uh, uh, or, or or your type of EVR sometimes are not working for this amount of ohms or the potentiometer so uh, always relate what is in the manual for this so mostly they're using uh, whatever the EVR is at uh, 1000 kilo ohms for the potentiometer 
okay so here is your drop city is one is two this is for the synchronizing applications only so let's see the other uh, diagram so as you can see same connections but we have here the auxiliary winding remove the link here if you are using that and connect to Z2 if you have the auxiliary winding so as usual you are connected from your 8 sensing voltage 7 sensing voltage at the middle connections okay as you can see here all in the middle connection so you can take to 20 to 100 to 40 volt AC in this type of uh, alternator because this one is the series Y connections so here is your connections if you have the ex uh, auxiliary connection so you have to connect it here at your Z2 okay so this is only the differences so if is there any questions or doubts just comment down below to our channel so you need some answer for those questions and uh, whatever the modifications what you want for this for for the applications like paralleling or synchronizing just comment down below where we can adjust and where we can connect those uh, wiring that you are needed in this type of AVR so okay guys I'm done explaining to you this type of AVR this is for Stamford AVR uh, this one is very commonly used use this one for the uh, Stamford alternator so once again Brins Blog is here see you in my next blog bye bye